Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a car logo split up effect easy and quick in After Effects. First of all let's duplicate our clip and rename it to logo. So now we have to mask out the logo, to mask we can use a roto brush tool, Mocha AE, or a After Effects masking tools, but AE masking is horrible, so I highly recommend you to mask using Mocha AE or simply rotoscope it quickly. And in my case car's logo is only a letters and it means it will be difficult to me to mask with Mocha AE and it will be much more easier to do it using a roto brush tool. I will grab a roto brush tool and double click on logo layer. Let's rotoscope the logo as smooth as possible and once we are done, let's click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, we can close rotoscoping window and go back to our main composition. Now let's pre-compose our rotoscoped logo layer. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Now press Y on your keyboard and make sure to move an anchor point to the very center of your logo. Now let's enable 3D on logo layer and then press P on your keyboard to expand position. Let's scroll forward where you want logo split up to begin from and then click on position stopwatch icon. Then let's press R on your keyboard to expand rotations and click on Y rotation stopwatch icon. Now press U on your keyboard to expand only created keyframes and then scroll to the moment where you want your logo split up effect to end and make sure to create the same default keyframes for Y rotation and a position. Now now scroll to the middle of a logo layer and move Y position handle up like this. Then let's change Y rotation to one time. Now let's select position and rotation keyframes and then hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor. Right click here and select, edit speed graph. Make a smooth curve like mine now and then we can check the effect. Looks fine to me, now enable motion blur on a logo layer and then we can add shake effects. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.